What's up guys, Ryan Schechter here. And today I'm gonna to be doing a what's in the bag for my golf bag, 2017. So yesterday in my first video, when I was talking about my channel and a little some of the stuff that I would be doing, I mentioned that I do play college golf at my university that I attend. And I told you guys that I would probably have some golf videos in here with thrown in with the rest of the vlogs. So I figured the best way to get the golf video started was to do a what's in the bag. So you guys can see the clubs, and the balls that I will be playing with throughout the coming season. All right, so I'll get right in with the wedges. Um, I carry four wedges, but I'll only pull out two for right now because my gap wedge and pitching wedge are came in the same thing as my iron set. So I'll show you guys those when we get to the irons. So the highest lofted club I carry in my bag is a 58 degree Cleveland Rotex original. Um, cavity back and the raw finish which is the one that rusts which I think looks amazing and it also adds extra friction to the ball so you get more spin um, it has 12 degrees of bounce to um, golf pride label down tour velvet grip and true temper dynamic gold x100 shaft great shaft in the wedges I like a really stiff one to so you feel like you really have a lot more control next wedge Cleveland Rotex 2.0, 54 degree sand wedge. This has 10 degrees of bounce and it's in the chrome finish. I just love this out of the sand, out of shots. Like this is like my up to like 115 yard club, but I mostly use this only up to like 100 about. And my 100 yard shot is really nice. You get so much spin out of this, so much feel. And again, it's got the same tour velvet label down grip and True Temper Dynamic Gold X100 shaft. So next I'll get into the irons. So I just pulled out six iron here for you guys. These are the Mizuno JPX 850 forged. They are forged from 1025 boron and grain flow forged, which is Mizuno's main forging process that makes their irons feel so dang soft. Um, what I love about these irons is they're pretty much a perfect blend between a little bit of game improvement, a little bit of forgiveness, but really classic looks, really good feel, and they're very workable. So for me as a better player, um, that's really nice to have, but it's also nice to have like a little bit of extra room just in case I do miss hit it slightly because everyone miss hits it once in a while. Um, and again, they got Golf Pride, Tour Velvet, label down grips. And on these through, from my four iron down to my gap wedge, I have KBS C taper, 130 gram stiff shafts, which I feel like are really nice iron shafts. All right, so next I'll get into my three iron slash hybrid. So this is a little weird because I do have a 20 degree hybrid that acts as kind of my three iron hybrid, but I also have a three iron in my bag sometimes. I basically switch between these two based on course conditions. If it's a harder course, I'm gonna use a three iron, get a little more, get a little more roll on it, maybe use it off the tee if it's shorter. I'll put the three iron because it's a better tee shot. But if it's like a really long course or a wet course, I'll use the Adams hybrid that I have because you get a little more height, a little more carry on it. So if you're not gonna get a lot of roll, you wanna use that so you get the most distance. So the three iron I have is from an old iron set of mine. It is the TaylorMade Tour Preferred CB three iron. Um, this has a KBS Tour stiff shaft. I believe it's 130 grams, and this one has a Golf Pride New Decade Multi Compound Gray, White, Blue, USA grip. Um, I really like this club, but since it is a three iron and it's pretty slim, it is a little hard to hit, but I don't have too much trouble with it. I just got to make sure I'm swinging the club well or I'll throw the hybrid in. If I'm not in good practice, then this club doesn't work very well. But when I hit this, it is like a bomb. Probably have a 220 carry-ish, and it can roll out to like 260, depending on how low I hit it, which is really nice to have as like a safe option off the teeth. So yeah. And the hybrid that I have is in Adam's Red Hybrid. You know, you got the boxing glove head cover. It is 20 degrees, as I said before. Matrix Altus Torse Stiff Flex Shaft. Golf Pride New... Tour Velvet Grip Label Down. And this is a very good hybrid. This is probably the only hybrid I've ever hit that I didn't have a problem with it going straight left. 
a lot of hybrids for me, and I know a lot of hybrids for a lot of better players have a problem with them just hitting massive hooks all the time. But with this one, if you can, you can see that it has three weights on the bottom, and two of them are two gram weights, and one of them is a 25 gram weight. What I did was I put the 25 gram weight in the toe instead of the middle or the heel, so that way it would keep the toe from flipping over, causing it to have a little more of a fade bias, or because a hybrid would normally go left, it goes pretty straight for me. So that works out really well, and yeah, I like this club a lot. It goes really high, it lands really soft, great into par fives, long par threes. So yeah. Okay, so the next club in my bag is my three wood. My three wood I have had for a long time now, and I'm possibly looking to upgrade, but I just can't really take it out of my bag for now because I hit it so good. It's the original Callaway X Hot three wood. Um, I've had this for probably three years now and it's very very good you can see it's extremely worn out it is 15 degrees it has a Fujikura EXS 6.5 stiff flex shaft in it um, golf pride label down tour velvet grips and this club is just a rocket launcher this goes so high so far and it's so straight every time I just the only bad thing about it is the face is a little bit deep, I think, for me. So it's a, it makes it a little bit harder to hit off the fairway. But I mostly don't hit this off the fairway because I'm long enough with my driver. I don't have to... I normally will hit hybrid or three iron into like long par fives. So this off the tee for me is perfect. I can hit this probably like 280 off the tee easily. So that's really nice when I got like a slightly longer hole, but it might be a little tighter. So I don't feel completely comfortable hitting my driver. All right, so now to the big dog, the driver. I have the Ping G driver. This is, when I first hit this, the sound of it made me cringe. I could not stand it. But when I kept hitting it, I kept getting amazing numbers. I was carrying this about 290, rolling out to about 315, 320. So when I saw that, <laughs> Somehow I started to get used to the sound a little bit better. Um, so yeah, this is 9 degrees. I was in the neutral setting. 65, 65 gram stiff shaft. It's the Ping Tor spec shaft. And this one only has just a regular Ping grip on it. But it's pretty much the exact same as the Tor Velvet, so I didn't feel the need to change it. So yeah, I absolutely love this club. It goes so straight, so far. And it's really, really workable. When I want to hit a draw, I can hit it immediately. If I want to hit a fade, I can hit it. If I want to hit just straight, then I can do that too. Also, even trajectory control. It doesn't go that high, but I can hit it low. I can hit it a little higher if I want to. But it has a nice penetrating medium project trajectory that I just really like about it. I think the turbulators and the dragonfly technology look really good on the top. But I know that some people might be a little turned off by that. But, I don't know, I like it. I think it looks cool. You got the matte black finish. Makes it kind of look like a little bit of like a Batmobile sort of thing, but I like it a lot. I love this club. This will be staying in our bag for a long time. All right, and last but not least, the putter, the money maker. And for this one, I have a Scotty Cameron Newport 2 notchback. This is the 2016 ones, the one with the insert in the face. Um, I think it looks amazing. I like the notch back because it is slightly more face balanced than the regular notch back, the regular plumber's neck ones, because this one has a flow neck. So it makes the stroke back and through a little more smoother, a little more straighter, and I like that. Came with a nice little, slightly oversized Scotty Cameron grip, red, red and black, but now it's turning a little black because I've used it so much. Probably gonna upgrade this soon. 34 inches, and I mean, you guys know Scotty's amazing feel, amazing roll, and I've made a lot of putts with this. I've been very, very happy with this since I got this one. So other things, I use a TaylorMade Tour Preferred Glove and a Titleist Pro V1X, but I might be trying out the Bridgestone B330S golf ball in the near future. So basically, that's it from what's in my golf bag. If you guys ever want to see the other stuff, like maybe like towels, like any sort of accessories I always keep in there, 
um, just let me know in the comments because um, I can definitely do that in the future but I know that when I check out what's in the golf bag things I don't always look at those so if you guys want me to I'll definitely do it no problem at all but I figured I would just stick with the clubs for this one so yeah guys if you like the video comment like subscribe to the channel and I'll hope to see you guys soon thanks